Here's the second Classic Oaks division in race three. Scully FBI won last year's Classic Series championship. It was rucked up pretty good at Dover. Stroke play raced very well first over and only her first start of the year. She's certainly the one to beat. Trotting there with Scully FBI from the inside. Sunday Yankee some early speed leaving along with her. Sophia lets go from the inside. The others fan out around the first turn and Camilla Dubé sparring here. Sunday Yankee and uh, on the outside Scully FBI. Scully FBI presses on and takes over. Sunday Yankee second to the quarter. Sophia lets go under a snug hold third there. Under my thumb all over the helmet is in the fourth position a tight spot there for her. Then it's a stroke play trotting comfortably in the fifth position past the opening quarter. Del Martha trails 29. Slow quarter here. Scully, FBI, and Dubé leading the way by a length and a half. Sunday Yankee trotting in the second spot. Sophia lets go third. Slow pace and single file in this one. Under my thumb is fourth. And stroke play is fifth at this point as they head towards the half. Del Martha still sixth and trailing. And they're still single file at the half here. Scully FBI and Dubé looking to put the field to sleep here. Under my thumb, here comes Miller now. Up and at him out of fourth. Charging up first over will challenge off a half of 58 and four fifths. 29 and four as they race to the far turn now. It's Scully FBI will take on under my thumb who takes that first over shot for Miller. In the box third now, Sunday Yankee up second over a stroke play. Roughly gated there with Sophia. Let's go. She's off stride. So Del Martha is fifth as they uh, race past three quarters and start to sprint there. Scully FBI trying to hold off under my thumb. Sunday Yankee on the inside will need some racing room. Stroke play to the outside. Three quarters, 127 and four. A well-rated Scully FBI leads them home, drifts out into the two path here. But here comes stroke play on the outside, trotting with a full head of steam. And it's Brian Sears and stroke play. Scully FBI trying to fend her off here. Stroke play pouring it out. On stroke play, stroke play does it. Scully the British Crown and Dan Patch winner lost by a neck in the first classic leg, but worked out a second over trip and had just enough to edge Scully FBI here. Tron Smithsammer with 10 wins with just 43 starters for the year. Well, Sears said last week that Breeders' Crown win with stroke play last fall helped solidify his newfound status as one of the sport's newest stars. He feels stroke play is right on schedule. Trotting mares are in here in the Classic, and Tron Smith's Hammers here are Brian Sears. Brian, first thing you noticed at Dover, the difference between her physically at three and four, was there any? Uh, no, she's pretty much the same filly she was last year as far as size goes. Uh, she came back really good, though. She looks uh, like, you know, she's really in good shape and got a lot of weight on, so it, it's good to see her like that. She dominated the second half of last year as a filly. Looks like she hasn't missed a beat at four, huh? No, she come back really good, and, um, you know, she's race, racing off the pace, and um, she really likes to fire by horses, and it's good to see. Uh, Ron Pierce just won the last race. Wendy Lane Hanover stroke play seems better than these. What about those two hooking up? Who's the better filly there? Well, um, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate that uh, we didn't run into Wendy Lane Hanover tonight, but I'm sure we're going to meet up soon enough. And uh, when that happens, we'll see what see how it goes. Okay, Brian, here's Tron Smetshammer. I thought you were heading for the Lotteria in Italy. What's what happened here? <laughs> well, they had a problem uh, with the flight. Uh, Alitalia was on strike in uh, Italy, and uh, the flight never came back from Rome, so I was left without a flight. So. They couldn't get me there in time, so I figure I might as well stay here. Stroke play, wonderful year last year. Tell us a little bit about her schedule this year. And will she be racing against the boys too? No, she's not going to race against the boys. Uh, she, uh, they got the, they, she's heading up for Canada uh, for the, the third leg and the final, and then uh, they got a, the armor flight, and then she come back here for the British Crown, and she got a couple of more races. Will HP Pack win the lottery tomorrow? He's the favorite. Uh, if uh, everything goes right, I think he will. And he comes back here, right? We see him again. Yeah, after Elite Lop, he comes back here for a Titan Cup.